Welcome back everybody to Crunch Time Comic Reviews. Today, I'll be doing a comparison video on the Stretch Armstrong stretch figures. However, this will not be a review on how Stretch Armstrong stretches. We all know he's made of rubber and filled with goo. This is simply a comparison of the old stretch figures to today's. Let's dive into these figures and see what we got. These are the stretch figures we'll be comparing today. The 1992 Stretch Armstrong, the 1994 Fetch Armstrong, the 1994 Vac Man, and their counterparts from 2017. The first figure we'll be reviewing is Stretch Armstrong himself. Let's take a look. Now, Stretch Armstrong came out in 1976 and was developed by Kenner Toys. That's what this one is modeled after. This one was a remake back in 1992. You can already tell a difference between these figures. The newer one is a little bit shorter than the one back in the 90s. But does it compare quality-wise? The boxes themselves are pretty sturdy. This one's made out of hard cardboard, as of this one, it's kind of a thinner cardboard. On the back of the boxes, it shows Stretch himself, plus a few moves that you could try out on your own. Now that we've taken a look at the box art, let's take them out and compare them. Now these are the Stretch figures out of the box. What I like about the 1992 version is this is the Stretch I grew up with. What I liked about the 1992 version is it was pretty sturdy. The painting was good, hard plastic, and it came with some uh, Stretch Armstrong stretch wear. What's different about this one is obviously the head. No smiling grin to frighten his enemies, no stretch wear, but he still stretches and does the job. Stretch Armstrong's greatest enemy is time. This 1992 version is over 20 years old. He no longer stretches, the corn syrup inside him is solid. It sucks, but you know, he's a good collectible to have. Even though I like the look of the 1992 version of the Stretch Armstrong, the new Stretch Armstrong is still stretchy. The next figures we'll look at is Fetch Armstrong, Stretch Armstrong's faithful canine companion. It's a stretchy wiener dog. What's not fun about that? Unfortunately, the new version of the Fetch Armstrong doesn't come in full size, just the mini. Both Fetch Armstrong boxes are pretty unique. This one's kind of standard and a little bit vanilla. The 1994 version has an image of Fetch that kind of told us kids, you want this figure for Christmas. The back of the boxes are almost completely different. Yeah, it shows a kid stretching out Fetch Armstrong. This one shows the stats, kind of the length of the figure, the accessories that goes with it. This kind of shows just, eh, it's Fetch. Congratulations. Now that we compared the boxes, let's crack them open and see what we got. There is a huge difference between these two figures. Like I said, the only ones that came out with the new one is in the miniature version. The original Fetch Armstrong was really cool. He came with this cool vest that showed his enemies who he was, he has a cool dog collar that was painted really well that says Fetch right on the top. Blue eyes, smiling face, just like the 1992 Stretch Armstrong. The 2017 one, even though it's a lot smaller, is almost identical to its 1994 counterpart. Same molding in the face, blue eyes, the only difference I could find to this figure is instead of the Fetch in silver, it's yellow. And that's about it. It doesn't come with a vest, but it's still a really cool figure. Another little addition that Kenner Toys threw in with the Fetch Armstrong from 1994, which in my opinion was really cool, was this ruler. It showed how far you could stretch Fetch without him breaking. Even though my older brothers both had a Stretch Armstrong, I had Vac Man. What I liked about Vac Man, it was a little more tough to kind of break him, so you could be a little more rough with him. Came with an extra accessory that was pretty cool. He could stay the length that you wanted him at. It was just a really cool figure when I was little. But as time went on, I broke him and I popped threw him away. I just got the new one. I haven't opened it yet. Apparently it's really hard to find, so I'm pretty excited to open up and check it out and see how it compares to my original Vac Man. Let's check out the box art for these bad boys. Both of these boxes, I think, are awesome. It shows off Fac Man, it shows off his angry face, it shows how he works and how to pose him. There are a few minor differences with the back. This one obviously shows off the pump right off the bat. What I liked about this one is it shows the other figures and accessories that you could buy for your Vac Man. Both of them kind of have a stats page to show you who Vac Man is and what he's all about. Now, I remember this Vac Man from my childhood. I won't need to open this one, but since this is my first time opening the 2017 Vac Man, I'm going to do it live for everybody. Wow. This is pretty awesome. The pump. 
I remember in the 1990s how hard it was to get a pump for one of these guys. Oh, I can already tell a lot of differences with this guy. Now that I cracked open the new one and got a feel of the features, let's crack open this one and compare them. This figure, when I took it out, I was amazed on how cool it was. The, the quality of the rubber is, is pretty much the same as the original. Um, the pump is a little smaller, but, you know, updates have to happen. It was 20 years ago. Uh, the face is a little more updated. Uh, the figure's a little more defined in the rubber. He has abs, fists, his feet are a little more defined. Um, even though he is a little smaller, I, I'm actually really pleased on how this figure um, was remade. Take a little closer look at the old one. It's a little more sinister looking. He was a little bigger, his head's a little bit bulky, and the pump is a little large. I really like the updated version. The head is a little more proportionate to the body. Even though it's a little small, I do love the detailing in this rubber. You can see the fists, you can see the abs, the feet are a little more defined. This is just an awesome figure, and I... Kudos to the people that made this. Awesome. Very awesome. Now this one's a little large. It was about the same size as Vacman himself. Plastic handle, metal plunger, it's really nice. I said this before, but this is a rare item. A lot of people lose this or break it, so if you ever come across one of these, hold on to it. There's only a couple updates I could find with this. I mean, it's a little smaller. I guess it is the length of this Vacman. The, the head is a little different. Um, I haven't tried to pump up this Vacman yet. The plunger's a little different. Still a plastic handle, but it's also a plastic plunger. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see if this one stands up to the old one. I'm going to do something a little different with the Vacman. I am going to pump them up individually and show you how they work. And since I could not stretch the Stretch Armstrongs, we are going to see these ones in action. Just to be safe, this is an extra vac man. I don't want to use the one that I have on display. It's too risky. It's 20 years old. I really don't want to break it. So let's pump this guy up and see what it's got. Now the pump enters the side of its head. One twist and it locks it. It only takes a few pumps to get the air completely out. But once you do it, you can tell automatically that he is solid as a rock. You take the pump out carefully. Don't break it. So this guy's really cool. He's obviously all solid up, the air is taken out of him, and when you stretch him... He stays stretched. It's really cool. It was a really cool figure to play with. He stays stretchy, and, you know, he stays pretty rigid. Uh, one of the cool features on this is if you don't want him like this anymore, you press this little black button and he goes back to normal. Pretty cool. An interesting note about these is inside are little tiny corn cob kernels. They were crushed up and that is what's inside Vacman and that's what gives it its distinct crunch. By pumping them up, I'm really excited to see what they put inside this guy. I really doubt that it's going to be corn kernels like back in the 90s. I kind of already have an idea from feeling them up, but let's pump this guy up and see what he's got. The connector itself looks a little different, so hopefully I can figure out how to use this thing. Pretty simple, it locks in there okay. Let's see how it pumps. Wow. After pumping this guy up, he's hard, rigid, and he's a little more stiff than the 1994 version. And I can already tell what's in it. It's almost like a hard styrofoam BB and just a bunch of them. I wonder how it compares up to when we stretch them. Let's check it out. Oh. It's a little disappointing. It doesn't stretch out as far as I'd like to. The 1994 version stretched feet, you know? This is only a little bit. And yeah, you can pose them and everything like that. Ugh, if it stretched a little more, this would have been a 10 out of 10. The button on this one is silver. It's still on the right side of his head. Let's see if it uh, works just as well as the 1994 version. Oh, cool. Really neat. Almost instantaneously. Just all that air back into him. And there he is, Vac Man. Now that we compared each of these new figures to their 1990 counterparts, I'm going to rate each figure on what I think was good and bad about the new ones. The new Stretch Armstrong is really cool, but it's based on the 1976 Kenner figure, not the 1992. If they brought out the 1992, I would have given this figure a 10 out of 10. But just for the nostalgia of it, I can't give this guy a solid 10. I gotta give him an 8.5, just because I love the look on my brother's face when they played with their Stretch Armstrongs when they were little. That's the stretch I remember, not the 76 version. He doesn't have the smiling face, 
Sorry, Stretch. 8.5. Still good, though. This Fetch Armstrong is really cool. It's almost an exact duplicate of its 1994 counterpart, which makes it awesome. I love continuity like that. The painting is awesome. It's a really cool figure. The only problem I have is it's mini. I wish they came out with a bigger version of Fetch, and he would have gotten a better review. I would have given this guy probably a 9.5, just because the rubber is a little soft. But since he's not the big version, i got to bump him down to an 8.0. It's still good. I love the look of them. 8.0 is still good. I love the updated version of this Vacman. The recreation of the face still shows Vacman. It's just the facial features are a little better. It still has the, sm the snarling smile, the big green eyes. And what I love is the, is the detailing in the rubber, the fists and the feet and the, and the ribs. It's really cool. It would have scored a little higher, almost a 10, if it would have stretched just like its 1994 counterpart. But this Vacman, I'm going to give a 9.0, just because this is a piece of my childhood, and I think the recreation was, was excellent. It was, it was really cool. So, 9.0. Thanks for watching my comparison video. Please, let me know what ratings you'd give these figures compared to their 1990s versions. Until next week, this is Crunch Time Comic Reviews, and I will see you later. Companion, Fetch Armstrong. Stretch of a wiener dog goes as far as your mind can be. Oh, light. oh, no, cut that. Don't, don't do that. Remember this. Remember this. Here's, are you unique in the room? <laughs> Did that hurt, dude? <laughs> she just bumped her head on the table trying to jump up. I'm strong, do as is that. <sighs> Both the Fetch Armstrong and I'm sorry. I'm still remembering when she hit her head on the table. It still pretty much looks the same.